Hello and welcome to another Science 9 Crash Course. In this episode, you are going to learn all about pesticides, what's great about them and what's bad. A pesticide is simply a chemical that is used to control any unwanted organism or pests. There are three main types of pesticides. The first are called insecticides, which of course are used to control insects. Secondly, we have herbicides, which are used to control unwanted plants or weeds. And lastly, we have fungicides, which are used to control unwanted fungi. Pesticides have many, many benefits, so let's discuss those now. Firstly, pesticides are beneficial to agriculture because they increase crop productivity. This ensures that consumers have access to affordable food. Another benefit of pesticides is to help safeguard public health by controlling or eliminating pests that cause disease and property damage. This is especially important because pests like mosquitoes can transfer diseases like malaria which kill millions of people worldwide every year. One such drug that helps to control mosquitoes and insects is called DDT. DDT was used predominantly in the 1950s and 60s and was very successful in stamping out malaria and other infectious diseases transmitted by pests. DDT, however, had one major problem that was discovered about 10 years after it started to be used. What they found is that DDT was killing many organisms, especially birds of prey. The DDT reduced the birds' ability to reproduce by making their eggshells very thin, which made them crack easily. This was caused by a process called biological magnification or biomagnification. Biomagnification is simply the increase in the concentration of a chemical as it moves up the food chain in the tissues of different organisms. At the bottom of the food chain, there is very little DDT, but as organisms eat other organisms, it accumulates in their tissues and grows as it goes up the food chain. This can cause the concentration of the chemical to increase by millions of times by the time it reaches the top of the food chain. Because of all these problems, DDT was banned in 1972 in the United States and in the mid-80s in Canada. This ban of DDT was beneficial to the birds of prey and their populations went up. The ban, however, also allowed the spread of infectious diseases to continue to spread throughout the world. So if you don't want to spray pesticides on your garden or around your house, what are some of the options or alternatives that you might have? There are many things that you could do instead of using pesticides. For example, you could grow plants with natural pest resistance or pick the weeds by hand. For larger scale crop production, we can use techniques such as organic farming. In order to produce organic food, you must follow a set of strict guidelines in order to have that claim. Some of these rules are having no banned substances such as pesticides for three years prior to harvest. You must also establish buffer zones to prevent overspray from neighboring crops. And you have to rotate your crops properly as well as many other guidelines. Another technique to improve our food production can be GMOs which stands for genetically modified organisms. By modifying the genetics of our food we can make food larger, last longer and taste better. We can also create plants that have natural pest resistance so we can reduce the amount of pesticides that we use. Some people, however, still have questions about GMOs and their safety. Well, our crash course has now come to an end, so thanks for listening.